Persistence of vision refers to the optical illusion whereby multiple discrete images blend into a single image in the human mind and believed to be the explanation for motion perception in cinema and animated films. Like other illusions of visual perception, it is produced by certain characteristics of the visual system. History, narrowly defined, the theory of persistence of vision is the belief that human perception of motion is the result of persistence of vision. That version of the theory was disproved in 1912 by Werthimer but persists in many citations and many classic and modern film theory texts. A more plausible theory to explain motion perception are two distinct perceptual illusions, phi phenomenon and beta movement. A visual form of memory known as iconic memory has been described as the cause of this phenomenon. Although psychologists and physiologists have rejected the relevance of this theory to film viewership, film academics and theorists generally have not. Some scientists nowadays consider the entire theory a myth. In contrasting persistence of vision theory with phi phenomena, a critical part of understanding that emerges with these visual perception phenomena is that the eye is not a camera and does not see in frames per second. In other words, vision is not as simple as light registering on a medium, since the brain has to make sense of the visual data the eye provides and construct a coherent picture of reality. Joseph Anderson and Barbara Fisher argue that the five phenomena privileges a more constructionist approach to the cinema, whereas the persistence of vision privileges a realist approach. The discovery of persistence of vision is attributed to the Roman poet Lucretius, although he only mentions it in connection with images seen in a dream. In the modern era, some stroboscopic experiments performed by Peter Marc Roger in 1824 were also cited as the basis for the theory. Film systems, persistence of vision is still the accepted term for this phenomenon in the realm of cinema history and theory. In the early days of film innovation, it was scientifically determined that a frame rate of less than 16 frames per second caused the mind to see flashing images. Audiences still interpret motion at rates as low as 10 frames per second or slower, but the flicker caused by the shutter of a film projector is distracting below the 16-frame threshold. Modern theatrical film runs at 24 frames a second. This is the case for both physical film and digital cinema systems. It is important to distinguish between the frame rate and the flicker rate, which are not necessarily the same. In physical film systems, it is necessary to pull down the film frame, and this pulling down needs to be obscured by a shutter to avoid the appearance of blurring. Therefore, there needs to be at least one flicker per frame in film. To reduce the appearance of flicker, virtually all modern projector shutters are designed to add additional flicker periods, typically doubling the flicker rate to 48 Hz, which is less visible. In digital film systems, the scan rate may be decoupled from the image update rate. In some systems, such as the digital light processing system, there is no flying spot or raster scan at all, so there is no flicker other than that generated by the temporal aliasing of the film image capture. The new film system Marxi Vision 48 films at 48 frames per second, which, according to film critic Roger Ebert, offers even the strobeless tracking shot past picket fences. The lack of strobe is due to the higher sampling rate of the camera relative to the speed of movement of the image across the film plane. This ultra-smooth imaging is called high motion. Computer monitors, aside from some configurations used until the early 1990s, computer monitors do not use interlacing. They may sometimes be seen to flicker, often in a brightly lit room, and at close viewing distances. The greater flickering and close-up viewing is due to more of the screen being in the viewer's peripheral vision, which has more sensitivity to flickering. Generally, a refresh rate of 85 Hz or above is sufficient to minimize flicker and close viewing, and all recent computer monitors are capable of at least that rate. Flat panel liquid crystal display monitors do not suffer from flicker even if their refresh rate is 60 Hz or lower. This is because an LCD pixel generates a continuous stream of light as long as that part of the image is supposed to be lit. With each scan, the monitor determines whether a pixel should be light or dark and changes the state of the pixel accordingly. In a CRT, by comparison, each pixel generates a temporary burst of light, then darkening, in each periodic scan. 
the monitor activates a phosphor on the screen during each scan if the pixel is supposed to be light, but the phosphor fades before the next scan. Cartoon animation In drawn animation, moving characters are often shot on twos, that is to say, one drawing is shown for every two frames of film, meaning there are only 12 drawings per second. Even though the image update rate is low, the fluidity is satisfactory for most subjects. However, when a character is required to perform a quick movement, it is usually necessary to revert to animating on ones, as twos are too slow to convey the motion adequately. A blend of the two techniques keeps the eye fooled without unnecessary production cost. Animation for most Saturday morning cartoons is produced as cheaply as possible, and is most often shot on threes, or even fours, that is three or four frames per drawing. This translates to only eight or six drawings per second, respectively. Printed media, flip books use this principle. If the book is flipped at a fast enough speed, the illusion of smooth motion is created. Sparkler's trail effect the sparkler's trail effect occurs when one waves around a liter sparkler, creating a trail of light. Although it appears that this trail is created by the light left from the sparkler as it is waved through the air, there is, in fact, no light along this trail. The lighted trail is a creation of the mind, which retains a perception of the sparkler's light for a fraction of a second in sensory memory. Persistence of vision displays a class of display device described as POV is one that composes an image by displaying one spatial portion at a time in rapid succession. A two-dimensional POV display is often accomplished by means of rapidly moving a single row of LEDs along a linear or circular path. The effect is that the image is perceived as a whole by the viewer as long as the entire path is completed during the visual persistence time of the human eye. A further effect is often to give the illusion of the image floating in mid-air. A three-dimensional POV display is often constructed using a 2D grid of LEDs which is swept or rotated through a volume. POV display devices can be used in combination with long camera exposures to produce light writing. See also, flicker fusion threshold, motion perception, light writing, a physical animation technique that has the appearance of persistence of vision. Beta movement, phi phenomenon, after image. Notes and references. External links, a study of the persistence of vision a Euro analysis by Arthur C. Hardy at MIT, persistence of vision, the myth of persistence of vision revisited a Euro commentary on whether the concept is really a myth. Winkler, Robert. The need for speed. The New York Times. Winkler, Robert. The flicker fusion factor. Why We Can't Drive Safely at High Speed. Archived from the original on December 5, 2010, repost on author's personal website. I get it, I know I'm inferior. November 9, 2006, Faringilla Euro Comments. Burns, Paul The History of the Discovery of Cinematography and Illustrated Chronology, Video of a 2D POV Display Integrated into a Bicycle Wheel, Builder Spoke POV, LED Bike Wheel Images, Mini POV, build your own instructions a Euro a project designed for beginners to learn soldering, electronics assembly, and programming microcontrollers, visual perception 8 a Euro visual perception lecture 8, the moving image. Newsreel film of persistence of vision a Euro 1936 newsreel film explaining how persistence of vision was thought to work. Physics stack exchange on persistence of vision a Euro physics discussion of persistence of vision. Test UFO eye tracking animation animation demonstrating persistence of vision.